like to invite up Herb. Can everyone give it up for him? He was one of the occupiers at the Paris Annex. Yes. 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 And uh, I want to live out the rest of my days here. Um, my traditional name is Gwent Gaitel Shlamat Gut. What um, a bunch of beautiful people, though. <laughs> yeah. My traditional name is Gwent Gaitel Shlamat Gut. Um, if you're going to have a hard time saying that, let alone remembering it, you can call me Herb. <laughs> All right. um, okay, we'll let you slide on that one, buddy. I was, I was one of the occupiers at the Paris Annex, and um, <clears throat> I want to echo many of the sentiments that these people were saying before me and I'm certain they're gonna say similar things after me as well um Thanks, why are we gonna build two hundred and fifty thousand dollar condos right here in the heart of the downtown east side when people here are worried about where their next meal is gonna come from right my next meal is probably gonna come from UGM you know I gotta stand in line an hour and a half to two hours three hours a day just to eat on top of that, I'm supposed to be, you know, out job searching and all that, you know. Um, and, you know, sometimes I talk to people about how tough it is to live down here on the east side. And they tell me, why don't you just get a job and move out? Well, you know, it's not that simple. It is a tough economy. It's hard enough for, you know, a, an educated person who isn't a visible minority to get a job. Now, me, I'm brown. I'm native. I live in the downtown east side. I dropped out of high school in grade 11. So I got three strikes on me. Um, Gene, Gene Brown, you're red. You look pretty red to yeah, me, buddy. Yeah. Um, so yes, we need to put a moratorium on That's condos down here. That's what makes you here. number one, you know, We need to put a halt on building condos down here until there's not a single person living in SROs, That's right. living on the street and living on the shelters, because a shelter is not a solution. It might be a short-term solution, but it's not the be-all and end-all solution. Um, and you know what? I want to define social housing. Social housing, it doesn't have to be large, you know, but we should have our own kitchens and our own bathrooms. Because um, you know what? There's a lot of charitable organizations out here, and don't get me wrong, I'm thankful for them, but you know what? You could give me a all the food you want, I got a bar fridge in my room. So much of that food that's going to be given to me is going to go to waste because I got nowhere to store it. Not only that, but I don't even have a stove or an oven in my room either, so I can't even cook it. So that food is essentially useless to me. Um, I can't think of anything else. But yeah. Um, People, I'm Joe LeBlanc. I was one of the occupiers last night in the Paris block. <laughs> Uh, I represent CCAP. Uh, we're really concerned about gentrification down here on, on Hastings Street. It's, it's changing considerably. The, the neighborhood has been gentrified too often. It's, we have to stop what's going on. Uh, this is our last stand. This is, we have so many supportive services here in the downtown east side. We've won insight and on site and this needs to be social housing there is no greater need anywhere we've taught north america different models on how to help people and there are people from everywhere that come here for help and there is not enough help there are too many addicts of every description in the neighborhood our women we're losing our women, we have young women here that are drug addicted, have many addictions, and they're carrying young babies, right? It's not right. We are not a third world country. Yes, exactly. This is yeah. Hastings Canada. Street, right? This is Canada. The capitalists have to understand. This is going on across the world, right? This is Occupy. Let us Woo. live. Woo. Give us what Woo. we need. Yes. It's a housing plan. And it's really clear in this community that his housing plan is jails. Yeah. 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 jails. We have the new omnibus crime bill that is looking at rapid expansion of prisons. Yeah. And this community is one of many marginalized low-income communities that is going to be most impacted by these prisons. 
We know that people who live in this neighborhood are going to fill the jail cells just down the street. And the people who won't be going to jail are people like Robert Wilson, who actually used to own 21 doors. That used to be 334 Carroll Street, where we're going to be going. 334 Carroll Street used to be low-income housing. Robert Wilson did a mass eviction in that building in 2008, and he flipped that property along with seven other properties and made $10 million in two years. That kind of criminal activity does not get prosecuted. That kind of criminal activity is what we allow to happen under capitalism, while people who are forced into poverty are the ones who are criminalized. So we're also clear that we need housing and not jail cells. That's right. And Kevin right. is here from Van Du. Van Du actually did an action today in opposition to mass incarceration. He's also the vice president of wars. Yes. I'm here uh, representing Van Du, uh, <laughs> Vancouver Area Network of Drug Users and Wars, Western Aboriginal Harm Reduction Society. Yeah, and um, I just think it's really sad to um, to be uh, to be homeless, right? And I think it's uh, especially sad to have to go to live in a shelter. And I think it's really, really sad to, um, when it's cold like this and it's really cold at night and to go to these shelters and you can't get, get in because it's, um, they're at their um, full capacity. So you have to sleep on the, sleep, on the street, like an animal or something, right? We're humans. And um, this is a hundred block, low income um, neighborhood. And um, we don't need no um, high end uh, condos down here. We need uh, to fix what we got and to, um, for the things that are being built, to build them to be um, affordable housing and stuff. Yeah, we did um, uh, a thing over at the police station, whatnot, on the um, anonymous crime bill. Yeah, I, I mean, today is uh, World AIDS Day, and I just mentioned about um, many years ago when I was in jail, um, I remember um, what, I seen a bunch of people in, in their, um, in, uh, using uh, syringes, but there was only one syringe and there is uh, eight people using that syringe, right? Because there's no harm reduction. And uh, I know it's still the same today and uh, people are getting AIDS and I know people have gotten AIDS by the same way in jail. And it's another problem that we have to uh, face so, along with the, um, you know, the, the homelessness and the um, problems we got out down here. That's our fight today and tomorrow, always. Yes. Thank you, Kevin. So before we march, we have two more speakers and we're also going to have a few more songs from the Aboriginal Front Door. I'd like to invite up Naomi Klein. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Naomi Klein is a well-known activist and author and a friend of the downtown east side. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Harsha. Harsha is amazing. Can we hear it for Harsha? It's such, a, it's such an honor to, to be here, to be standing um, with the power women of the downtown east side. Um, I want to thank you for your courage, um, for all the fighting you've done over the years, for all the fighting you did during the Olympics. We appreciated it across the country. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, st I'm here to support the demand um, of this action. I'm here to support the demand of this action, which is for no condo development on the downtown east side. It's a clear demand. It's a fair demand. It's a moral demand. I was privileged to attend the signing ceremony this morning that Harsha mentioned. Uh, it was incredibly moving uh, to, to, be, to be there at the anniversary of the Save the Fraser Declaration, saying no to Enbridge Pipelines and here, to here. Yes. And there were many speakers, many chiefs spoke, and they talked about what this resource extraction model means to them. A loss of culture, a loss of land, mm -hmm. displacement. That is what people are afraid of. Yeah, Where are people displaced? Two, they're displaced to here. And now they're being displaced again. That's what we're hearing, being displaced again. Two, as Harsha said, the real housing policy is prisons, yeah. including private prisons, so that you can make some more money off of incarceration after you make money off of gentrification. Yeah. It's all connected. It's one story. Uh, I did an interview today on a call-in radio show that will remain nameless. Um, and one of the callers explained to me that there isn't a need for an Occupy movement in Canada because 
Canada doesn't have the same problems as the United States. It doesn't have these problems of inequality or politicians that are owned by corporations. Um, the action that. That. that took place here two days ago at Occupy yeah, Pantages puts the there. lie to that. Yeah. It exposes oh, it oh, as a lie. I, I've been part of the Occupy movement, and when I spoke to our friends in New York City, what I said about what they did that was so powerful was in a country that is claiming to be broke, to not have the money to pay for basic services, they set up camp in this the site of maximum abundance, that being Wall Street. Yeah. And they said, this country isn't broke. This country doesn't have a budget crisis. It has a distribution crisis. The money is stuck at the top. And I think it is so exciting and so moving that as the Occupy movement evolves and changes, now what we see is people occupying spaces at the site of maximum exclusion, the site of maximum inequality, to show the other side of that. And that's what's happening in this city, and that's what we're a part of today. And I'm very proud to be with you, standing with you today. This is the, one of the most unequal cities in North America. It has the least affordable housing not in Canada, not in North America, in the Commonwealth. Yeah. Most, un, uh, most unaffordable housing in Canada, the United States, New Zealand, Australia. It's supposed to take three years for, for housing to be affordable. It should take three years of income to be able to buy a home. In Vancouver, it takes nine and a half years, okay? Gentrification doesn't just drive housing up in this housing prices up in this neighborhood. It drives the cost of everything up in this neighborhood. And it drives the, the, the cost of everything up across the city. And this is, the, this is the, the, the model that's being put forward. So I think it's really important to challenge this idea that Canada doesn't have any problems, that we're so much better than the United States. This is a part of the country that nobody wants to look at, right? We know that. And you know, there was so much anger at Occupy Vancouver, mm -hmm. anger at seeing Same. homelessness, anger at seeing drug addiction and mental health problems. They just wanted to sweep it away, yeah. bring it back to the downtown east side. That's what they were saying. But now in the downtown east side, they're trying to sweep it away from here. So this is a disgrace. Mm -hmm. This is a disgrace. And I'm proud to be with you saying no, drawing the line. There's been a lot of drawing the lines today. And as, yeah. as, as Harsha said, We've heard People say we're going to put, put a wall up, That's we're not going to let your pipelines through. And I'm so proud to be with you today saying we're not going to let your condos through Ow! either. Woo! 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 I want to yeah. say, say, can I say something to Mark Williams? Woo! Yeah! yeah. 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 Mark Williams yeah. has put up yeah. posters up and down the street. I don't know if you, if you saw them saying, welcome Naomi Klein, oh. saying that he, you can buy oh. a, a copy of The Shock Doctrine for $61 <laughs> at Spartacus Books. Okay, we, we called Spartacus Books a few minutes ago. They don't have any copies of The Shock Doctrine, but they have a copy of No Logo for $6. So all I can say is, I hope he doesn't plan on marking up condominiums yeah. as much as he marked up my book. This is a, this is a businessman not to be trusted. Yeah. What, what would you say directly to Mark Williams? I would say to Mark Williams that he's acting as if this is a game, yeah. and he is playing with people's lives, That's and right. he should be deeply ashamed of himself. This yeah, is not yeah. a game. This is about survival. Yeah. Did the sign for you. Thank you. It yeah. says, yeah. "Sequel 138 welcomes displacement. Naomi Klein supports downtown east side fight against gentrification." Ah! Yeah. I'd like to invite.